What it do, Internet? David Baugh here, and today is vlog number 140, and we got something special for you today. Now, you may not know this about me, but I am a whore for control surfaces, so today I thought I would talk about one of my very favorite ones, the Logitech G13 gamepad. But before we get into all that, let's roll that shit. <laughs> So I figured the best way to show you what this thing can do, which it's a powerhouse, let me tell you. I've done two feature films on it, I've done a bunch of uh, short films with it. It is essential to, <laughs> to what I'm doing at this point, at least with my own workflow. Uh, one thing I really like about it is that you can control macros with it. It has actually uh, 22 buttons on the face here. Uh, that you can use and then it's got uh, some mouse buttons down below that'll also work it's got a little joystick uh, you can also change each one of these to be different things uh, so these would be pages of macros right so you can have uh, three of them uh, each one of the 22 programmable buttons can be set with whatever you want it to be uh, you got this little joystick here. I will note that one problem I had with this is that the joystick, it only works on one monitor. So I have multiple monitors here. Uh, I've found the solution for me has just been to use a mouse with it. Um, you know, it gives it a more two-handed feel. It feels more like you're controlling your information as opposed to the other things. But uh, I figured the best way to show the capabilities of these things because, you know, if you're not the nerdy piece of shit like me, then macros may not be important to you, but um, I figured the best way is to just edit this footage down and uh, throw in some B-roll potentially of it so that you guys can see a editing workflow uh, using the Logitech G13 and uh, we could go from there. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just first of all bring in all of my footage. I've just got it right here. I've got my audio. I've got my other stuff and we can start watching it uh, so it looks like the shot is going to start here is where I want it so I'm going to make a keyframe I'm going to highlight and I'm gonna delete it right I'm gonna start playing now I wanted to do something a little bit more complex over here uh, actually bring in the titles so let's see if we can't get that going uh, I'm going to again just duplicate uh, I'm just pressing alt now I don't have my whole thing, but uh, there's my name. It needs to come in over here. Let's go back a few frames. And I can actually go frame by frame and I can make sure that my name stays on there pretty easy so that it's good in relation to this and then I can come back so right if I want to create a new point there's a few ways that I could do this here with this setup if I go over here there's option bracket left and right brackets uh, so I can actually just clip it off at the end right Let's get some b-roll let's cut this here let's cut this here let's go over here um, and then I could just grab this and drop it off let's do that that's nice let's get some of this here this looks all right nothing too crazy I really like this thing because it makes it easy to just you know, think less about what it is that you are recording and think, or cutting and think more about just putting it together. But that's all I had for you guys today. It was a pleasure as always, and you have a wonderful evening.